What's up YouTube, it's your boy Yannick. I wanna welcome you back to the Sense Style channel, the channel where you pair sense and style. Also on this channel, we talk about cologne reviews and various men's lifestyle subjects such as self-care, dating, and fashion. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so that way you know when the next video drops. Without further ado, let's get into what we're gonna talk about today. Now fellas, today we're bringing you 10 fragrances that drives the woman crazy. These were chosen based on ladies' reactions I've gotten from them, of course, or else how else would they make a list? These fragrances are in no particular order, neither are they 2020 releases. So with that said, let's jump into the list. To start the list off at number one is a fragrance that most of you all won't really expect to hear. It is from the Aqua Di Gio line, and no, it's not Profumo, it is Aqua Di Gio Absolute. Aqua Di Gio Absolute takes that OG scent DNA of the original Aqua Di Gio and blends it with a little bit more spice, a little bit more woodiness, and a lot more florals, which makes this one right here a very masculine, a very floral, a very sweet freshy. Now, some of you all may be asking, how does masculine, floral, and sweet go together? Don't ask me, but the way how they blended this, it just works. It's very sexy and it's very sensual all at the same time being very invigorating because of its freshness. Now, it does catch some flack in the fragrance community for being very basic, but I don't think it's basic. The sea salt floral notes are amped up in this one, making it so, so gorgeous, fellas. You can wear this one to the office, you can wear this one out on date nights and watch the compliments just flying. Number two on the list, we got Yves Saint Laurent YEDP. This bad boy right here, he ain't playing any games, fellas. This one has sage, ginger, apple, and tonka. And just from those notes right there, that should tell you what this fragrance is about. And that is a lot of compliments. This fragrance right here, fellas, this fragrance right here is so intoxicating in the air. And that's because of the sweetness it has about it. Some people say that Yves Saint Laurent YEDP is synthetic, and I get that. So if you're not about sweet fragrances, this one's not for you. But for the masses out there that could appreciate the fragrance like this, go get yourself a bottle of YSL YEDP. And you'll see how much the ladies adore this scent on you. When wearing YSL YEDP, I beg you, I beg you, please, please, please be careful with the sprays. If you're hitting up a venue that's indoors, two to three sprays max. Outdoors, you can go three to four. But this thing is really, really powerful, guys. Listen to what I'm telling you, guys, because if you don't, you're gonna be choking some people out around you. This one is sexy when applied lightly. Up next, at number three on the list, this fragrance has no problem making people's ladies love this list. And you can label it as one of the fragrance kings of seduction, and it is Parfums de Mali Layton. Puff of the Mile Layton has gotten me so many compliments, it is ridiculous. This thing has even got me compliments at a bar where it was just too many people in that bar that shit should have been shut down. And you all know what happens in a place that has too many people. It's hot, it's a bio fest. And for this thing to cut through the air and make it to the ladies' noses and generate those compliments, you know this is a compliment beast and a performance beast as well. So with that said, you know that's one of the reasons why this one had to make the list. This is a sexy freshie right here that has that apple and vanilla blend. And it does wonders for you when people smell it. Parfums de Marley Layton is also pretty strong. And when I say pretty strong, I mean a lot strong. Two sprays of this right here goes a long way for you. And when I say a long way, I mean a really, really long way. All right, number four is gonna bring us into the delicious gourmand part of the list. And to start that part of the list off, we got Paco Rabanne, One Million Lucky. <sighs> Fellas, this thing is really, really good. Paco Rabanne, One Million Lucky brings that playful vibe of the original Paco Rabanne, One Million and brings in that main note of hazelnut into this right here. And with the addition of hazelnut, gives this one right here a dry down scent that resembles Nutella. It is so delicious. And fellas, girls are foodies. Have you ever heard the term foodie before? Yeah. So 
With that said, if something smells like Nutella, I mean, who out there hates Nutella? I don't hate Nutella. She don't hate Nutella. That decadent hazelnut in this right here, fellas. When you spray this on, you know what time it is. Next up on the gourmand deliciousness, we got Bulgari Man in Black. Now there are a lot of Man in Black flankers out there, all right, like Man in Black Essence and Man in Black Oriental, all right? This is just simple Man in Black. This is a sexy, boozy Oriental fragrance that has that prominent note of rum in it. And the rum note in here is like no other. It also has a hint of powderiness to give it a cleanliness about it. But trust me when I say, guys, the rum and the vanilla in here is definitely the stars of the show. This thing is so sensual, guys. But if it was up to me, I wouldn't wear this one to the office because you'll smell too much of like a ladies' man. I'd also tell you firsthand, there is nothing subtle about this fragrance here, fellas. When you wear this, expect E plus hours of performance with about six hours of projection. This thing is a beast. At number six on the list, we have a fragrance that is no stranger to anybody's sexy list. And it's another boozy one. And it is Thier Mugler. Pure malt. This one right here, it is so seductive, it is so sweet, and it has this effervescence type of bubbliness to its scent. Thermo Blair Pure Malt reminds me a little bit of beer, of a sweet beer, and that's because of the peat that's in here. Now, I know some of y'all out there looking at me sideways like, huh? What's he talking about? I don't wanna be walking around smelling like beer, but no, 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 no. Don't knock this one until you try it. It is really, really good. Next up on the list at number seven, we have a fragrance that many of y'all know. And when y'all see it, y'all gonna know why it's here. And it is Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is lemon cleaner goodness in a bottle. Now that sounds kind of strange, right? But it's only like that for the opening. But after that dry down, you get more of a resemblance of Creed's Aventus with this right here, fellas. Club de Nuit Intense Man is one of the best Creed Aventus clones for under $25. Hands down, one of the best. Now, don't let that cheap comment fool you though, because Club de Nuit Intense Man, it doesn't smell cheap and it doesn't perform cheap either. Creed Aventus isn't on the list because I don't have it. I don't need it, especially with bangers like this right here and Parfums Vintage Pineapple Intense. And all I can tell you is, this thing brings compliments, fellas. Performance is on point with this and so is its projection. You will be noticed and she will love you in this. The next fragrance on the list, many of y'all don't know, but it comes from London. And for many of y'all who know, London is the birthing place of the gentleman. And this fragrance is Blazing Mr. Sam by Penn Halligans. Look at the cap, fellas. You see the cap? This cap weighs like 15 pounds. If you throw this cap at someone's head, you're gonna draw some blood. Penn Halligans Blazing Mr. Sam falls nothing short of gentlemanly, and it comes from their portrait line. This one is sexy, but in a masculine way. It does have some florals about it, like the note of cardamom, but it doesn't come across floral at all. It comes across more spicy than floral, and the spiciness in this is what makes this so manly. This is a woody, aromatic fragrance that comes across differently rich. Not like daddy's money frat boy rich, but more of old money rich. We can leave Dior Sauvage for those little frat boys. This smells like a gentleman, late 30s, early 40s, driving an Aston Martin with his leather gloves on. This is not a little boy scent, I'll tell you that for sure. And this is gonna appeal to the ladies that love a mature gentleman. Next up on the list, we have Valentino Uomo Intense. Now, if you know Christian Dior's Home Parfum, you know this one. You know how everybody hype Home Parfum up? And that's because this one is discontinued. So they needed the next best thing. And I think Home Parfum is discontinued as well. This is rich, it's seductive, it's sophisticated, and it's iris. And the iris in here is what gives this that sophistication about it. It has a very makeup bag, lipstick type of vibe about it. This is sweet, it's classy, and it's powerful. Also, fellas, when you wear this one right here, 
perk your chest up and walk with a swagger about you because that's the type of guy that wears this. You pair confidence and a nice blazer with this right here makes you irresistible to the ladies. And coming in at number 10 on the list, we have Prada Luna Rosa Black. This one is musky, ambery, sweet goodness. Did I forget to mention, it's kind of powdery as well. So you know you're gonna get that cleanliness about it. This one right here screams sexiness to the ladies, fellas. And the freshness of this one comes right out of that Prada Luna Rosa line. The patchouli and the amber in this one gives this a seductive sexiness about it. The patchouli and the amber in this one gives it that seductive darkness about it. And if you guys didn't know, mystery is what adds to the lady's curiosity. And well, you all know how the saying goes, curiosity kills the cat. All right, fellas, that's it for the videos on 10 fragrances that drives the ladies wild. Now, if you enjoyed the video and found it informative, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so that we know when the next video drops, as well as share it. As always, I'm Yannick, Thank you guys so much for visiting Santa Styles. Stay safe and peace guys.